Hey guys, this is Zoe Pugh from Are You The One? And today I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair. Now, I am very much a creature of habit. I like to do things the same way every single day. I don't like to stray from a routine because it gives me anxiety. So this is my hairstyle that I stick to. Now, as you can see, it's only on half of my head so I can show you guys before and after what your hair is going to look like. And also, um, I really don't like to wash my hair. It's not a very hard task, um, but it's also very tedious because my hair is like thick as hell. So it takes like three weeks to dry and then I start to get like annoyed and then that requires a hair dryer. So really you want your hair to be dirty for this. It holds the curl better anyway. And then we could all be lazy. It's a win-win. <laughs> My curling iron that I use is cheap. It's Conair. I got this at like Target for probably 15 bucks. It's a one and a half inch barrel. I like it thick. It gives you those like big voluminous curls so you could look like a sex goddess even though I'm uh, like a sewer rat, but that's, that's what we're going for, you know, the facade. This is a setting that goes all the way up to 30. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to put it up to 30, but um, I'm very impatient and I want it done now. So I crank mine all the way up and then I just let it go, wait till we're heated. And what you wanna do is, I don't know how thick these sections are. I'm so sick of people that are like, you want like one inch sections? Well, who the fuck is measuring? Not me, not today. So I'm just gonna go by what I know. I, I feel it out with my fingertips. I'm also using a hair tie to pull up the rest of it, keep it away. It's about this much hair. I don't know how much that is. Just enough, whatever you want your curl size to be. So this is about enough for two. And what I do, I just a little bit rip some of my hair out, but we're not gonna worry about that till I'm bald. So the good thing about this is that it has the clamp if you want it. I don't use the clamp. Smoke just literally came off of this. See, this is why you don't crank it up to 30 doesn't matter leaving it there okay so you want to wrap it around going away from your face because you want to you want to frame your face this is the money maker you want to frame that shit. I keep it there for a few seconds and then I like to let it go and then like hold it up to my head you want to trap the heat in trap it like you trap a man and then let it fall and look you got that nice cute little curl now what I do is when I'm curling my hair I like to like Okay, see, I don't, know how to, I don't know how to maneuver this. I like to take my curls and throw them in the back of my head so that I can differentiate between what's curled and what's not. Because some of my hair is like very curly as it is, so I can't really tell, but it won't have that like sleek curl. And as you can see, I'm not clamping down because that'll give you a dent. I don't like dents. I like to look smooth and nice. And then just throw it in the back. And then you just keep doing that to the rest of your head pretty much um, until all of you looks uniform, which for some of us uh, is a very hard task. Me. I don't use any products, um, really. Sometimes I'll use like a smoothing cream after I wash my hair or like a curl defining cream. Other than that, I like to keep it simple. I use hairspray at the end just to like lock that shit down. But... Otherwise, um, I don't like the feeling of product in my hair. I feel like it feels like gunky and gross. It's like, then you have to wash it more. See, we're circling back. It all comes back to, I don't wanna wash my hair. So if I could like avoid that at all costs, I will. Okay, now we got the last layer here. Just wanna run through that section with your fingers because it tends to get a little knotty from uh, throwing up in that ratchet bun and then you just want to finish it up now for this section um I kind of do smaller pieces just like I don't know it just it looks better just trust me I don't know why it looks better but just take my word for it and it's okay if these are like thinner too it just brings it all together and then we got this last piece and then I'm gonna just finish up with some hairspray. Now, the hairspray that I use is really nice and lightweight, and it doesn't make your hair crispy. It gives it like some texture. 
make sure that your hair like isn't going to fall out throughout the night okay the hairspray that I use is Aussie um, and it's for volume which you want because you know your hair is curly you want it to be big and fun so I just spray that throughout give this side a spray too and then just kind of go through it with your fingers a lot of people like to brush through their curls but I'm not really uh, I'm not really into that it's like I just spend all this time curling it I don't I don't want to break it all apart but you want it just enough so that you don't have uh, you know pageant kid curls and then just judge it up to your liking and this is about where I go about right here if you want some volume you could also add some dry shampoo to your root and then make it you know give it a little height but uh this is all it takes i hope that you guys like this video i hope it helps uh if you do like it thumbs up me subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time